Master pronoun placement and separable transitive phrasal verbs. Hello, language enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a more advanced, yet crucial, topic in English grammar. Pronoun placement in separable transitive phrasal verbs. By the end of this video, you'll be able to use these verbs confidently and correctly. Let's get started. To begin with, let's quickly recap what phrasal verbs are. Phrasal verbs are verbs combined with prepositions or adverbs. They often carry entirely different meanings than the individual words might suggest. For instance, give up doesn't mean give in an up direction, but to quit or surrender. Now, among these phrasal verbs, there are transitive and intransitive ones. Transitive phrasal verbs are the ones that need an object to complete their meaning. Let's take an example. I turned off the light. Here, turned off is a transitive phrasal verb and the light is the object. Moreover, some transitive phrasal verbs are separable meaning the verb and the preposition can be separated. For example, you can say, I turned the light off, as well as, I turned off the light. Both are correct. Here, turn off, is a separable transitive phrasal verb. Here comes the most important part of our discussion today. Pronoun placement in these verbs. When the object of a separable transitive phrasal verb is a pronoun, it must be placed between the verb and the preposition. For instance, we say, I turned it off, not, I turned off it. Let's see more examples. Correct, she takes them out. Incorrect, she takes out them. So, remember the golden rule. When using pronouns with separable transitive phrasal verbs, Always place the pronoun between the verb and the preposition. Let's practice a little bit. How would you rephrase this sentence using a pronoun? I am looking up the word. That's right. I am looking it up. And how about this one? Can you turn off the television? Great job. Can you turn it off? Keep practicing with various sentences to get the hang of it. And that wraps up our lesson on pronoun placement in separable transitive phrasal verbs. Remember, practice is key when it comes to mastering phrasal verbs and their quirks. Keep practicing, and soon it'll become second nature. We hope you found this video helpful. Until next time, keep exploring the beauty of the English language.